Alright, let's take a look at Exodus Bonded by Blood and this is an E standard tuning. So I'm back to my good old early ball guitar today. And here's the intro riff. <laughs> Okay, so if you take a look at this in slow motion, we have this opening riff in the first bar. Okay, so the first two notes here, 6 and 3, are punctuated. And then we have power chord on the third fret. Right, and they repeat it three times, and the third time this power chord is a short one, right? Right, and then in the next four bars, we have this. So uh, what they do in here, and I think I have to explain this too much, but basically we have this kind of unusual riffing going on. We have power chords going to open string, okay, that's the end of the second bar here. And then at the end of the third bar, we have this, right, and at the end of the fourth bar, at the end of the first line, yeah, we have the power chord going to open A string. So this is kind of unusual for many metal riffs, but kind of cool. Um, right, so you're gonna play those four bars that I just played uh, three times, and then you're gonna play the, the thing one more time, but you're gonna end differently. And I'm assuming you can read the tabs, so you can see the fourth ending is a bit different. Right, like that. And right after that, we're gonna come to the verse, all right? And here it is. So, um, and yeah, the verse riff is pretty much the same as the intro riff that I just played, so I'm gonna play this again. Uh, the only different thing is that the ending, the final ending at the end of the second line is shorter. So, you know, the ending in the intro is 10 beats altogether. And here we only have six beats, uh, so it kind of they cut it like almost halfway, well, kind of beyond halfway, uh, and that's it, right? So same as the intro riff in the verse, uh, but cut it a little short, four beats short. <laughs> um, right, and uh, yeah, that will be the verse. And for the chorus, we have this. Right? So, uh, I can play it a bit slower, even if I probably don't have to. Right? And at the final chord there, one of the guitars is doing some kind of bar dive, I think, on the power chord. Maybe on E, open E, uh, which you can prob probably hear on the recording. Uh, so good guitar just plays, holds the E power chord. Uh, yeah, and that's the chorus, right? And right after the chorus, we have the second line, which is exactly the same as the intro riff. So I'm gonna play it again, just to you know, play it twice. And uh, right after this, you're gonna play verse again, and you're gonna play the chorus again, uh, but only the first line, all right? So remember that, go back to slide two, and play that one, and repeat the first line here. And then you're gonna go to the next slide, which we have uh, here, and, uh, and this is the, 
solo backing riffs. So the first solo is just Gary's. He's playing it over this backing riff. Okay, so that's the backing riff, and you're gonna play it four times. And uh, yeah, that would be it. So it's basically like like an intro riff, but they kind of switched. To, uh, well, actually, they throw in an extra bar that's kind of different. Uh, the, uh, the the second bar is a bit different, right? And then the next guitar solo, backing riff in the second line. like this and again I don't think I have to explain it right because uh, so here uh, well, you they just modulate the song one whole step up uh, they do it quite a lot actually in their songs uh, but other than that uh, it's kind of uh, uh, just ending here is the same as we had in the intro as you probably know uh, other than that, I don't have much more to say about this, so um, let's continue on. And uh, so right after the solo we're going to have the interlude, and this is basically the same as the intro riff, right? So I'm going to play this again either here, uh, just to, yeah, the only difference is that the first time is only played once, right? Uh, in the intro we played that line three times, uh, if you remember. Uh, and. Uh, and then the ending is, uh, uh, is the same, the second ending here, as in the intro. Uh, so right after you finish playing this ending, which is at the third bar in the second line, it goes like this. Okay, right after this, after the third bar in the second line, you're gonna go and play the verse and the chorus again. And uh, the chorus you're gonna play up to the fourth bar in the first line. So the fourth bar, if you remember, ended like this, right? And after which you you play this. Okay. And now you're not gonna play it uh, like that. Instead, you're gonna end on the on the ending that is shown here at the end of the second line. Um, and if you connect it to the chorus, fourth bar is gonna be like this. Right, and uh, yeah, that would be it. And at that point, the song will end, and that's bonded by blood. Have fun with that. <laughs>